Archimedes' principle is a physical law of buoyancy first discovered by the mathematician and inventor Archimedes and explains not only the buoyancy of ships and other vessels in water but also the rise of the balloon in the air and the apparent loss of weight of objects under water. The principle states that anybody completely or partially submerged in a fluid experiences a force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. The volume of displaced fluid is equivalent to the volume of an object fully immersed or to that fraction of the volume below the surface for an object partially submerged. Here the object enters water and two forces act upon it. Archimedes found that F equal the mass of the displaced fluid times the gravity field and there is another formula which is F equal the density of the fluid times the volume of displaced fluid times the gravity field. Here we notice that there is another way to determine the buoyant force, F equal the object's weight in vacuum minus object's weight in fluid and that's why we feel that we weigh lighter underwater. If the object sinks, it means that his weight is greater than the buoyant force. Now we have the same expression. We simplify the volume because the body is fully immersed and then we can conclude that if the density of an object is greater than the density of the fluid, then it will sink. This small eraser sinks while a huge boat floats and the reason behind it is that most of the space in the boat is taken up by air which makes it less dense than water and this is also the reason why holes in the bottom of a boat cause it to sink making its density greater than the density of water. The dead body starts to sink as soon as the air in its lungs is replaced with water. The cadaver will float to the surface as a balloon until the bacteria in the gut and chest cavity produce enough gas. When we turn on the burner of the balloon, the air inside gets hot and the molecule starts to move fast, which make more space. The air outside the balloon is more dense than the air inside, and as we saw previously, the hot balloon will float.